Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. And today I'm responding on a video. Something I've never done before and I hope I will never have to do ever again. I'm responding on a video by the 3D printing nerd, uh, Joel Telling, who posted a non-review of this Da Vinci Pro printer. And why I'm posting a comment video on that, well, you'll see that right after the break. Hi everyone, so today Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd, posted a video on this machine. And let me tell you how I got this machine uh, first before I start telling about his video. I bought this machine because I fell in love with 3D printing. I saw uh, on some se several occasions I saw people working with 3D printers and uh, then I started designing things and I starting, started going to uh, fab labs and, and maker fairs and just to see if, if they could print my designs and I used print surfaces to print my designs and then I said well I, I should buy my own machine so I went on YouTube and on YouTube I found a lot of great people having channels on 3D printing but three people were very special to me three people who I really admire who I think are are very good in explaining in, in letting people know what they think and those people are the 3D printing nerds, uh, Chuck Hellebuck and Angus from Makers Muse. I really love those guys, I really love their work, their videos, the effort they, they take to, to make these videos. It, it, it's great, it's really if you don't know anything about 3D printing, watch their three channels and you know everything about 3D printing. It's, it's, it's great. So, a few months ago, when I was already having this printer, I saw uh, that the, the 3D printing nerd, Joe Telling, was having this printer ready to be reviewed, but he didn't have time for it. And I was already working with the machine and I was very happy that someone so influential as he is, uh, was taking the time to review this machine. And then a few days ago, I saw tweets of Joe Telling, in which he was uh, saying that he had problems with this machine. And immediately I was thinking, oh no, not again. And why do I say not again? Well, let me explain that first. When I got this machine, uh, it was a non-working brick. I had to send it back, I got a new one, I had to send it back and I got the third one. And when I got the third one, the machine was working but my software wasn't. Uh, some people from uh, XYZ printing uh, had to remotely log in into my computer, uh, make repairs on the software because I work on a European machine with the European version of Windows on it and they hadn't tested the software on, on that kind of Windows. So it took three days before uh, the third printer was working because of the software which had to be rewritten. And uh, well they did this for me and I think it was a great service so you won't hear me complain about it. But the funny thing is that when I got the printer I couldn't work with it because the software wasn't ready for the European market. I was one of the first guys in the world having this printer. Uh, and also, uh, this is my third printer, but it's the first working one. And uh, all that because of maybe shipping issues, maybe something else, I really don't know. I only know that as someone not experienced in 3D printing, this was a little bit frustrating for me. And now I saw Joe Telling having this printer to review and my guess is that if you send a printer to someone to review that you make sure it's a very good working one um, but well his printer didn't work he had problems with it so 
First off, let's react on his video. He told that the switches of the doors are not working. And uh, this bottom door switch is not working and the top door switch is not working. And when those switches do not work, then uh, the printer says that a door is open and when a door is open you can't access the menu of the printer. Uh, so you don't have control over your printer when one of the doors is open. And to be honest, uh, I think it's, it's really stupid that this problem could arise on a new printer. And I really don't care who speaks the truth. Uh, Joe Telling says, well, it's quality control because uh, I couldn't find the parts inside my box, so they weren't there to begin with. XYZ printing says, well, the, the, the printer must have been damaged while shipping. And I, as a bystander, say, whatever. Because his printer wasn't working, so if it was wrecked during shipment, then there was something wrong with the packaging. And his printer could, could get wrecked because, well, because the packaging was no good. And otherwise, the quality control was no good. So, one way or the other way, it's no good. Doesn't matter how it came, it's no good. Then, I saw some other problems he is having. Uh, for example, the jog mode. And, well, exact the same problem I had it also. And uh, people who know me know that I do a lot for the community on Thingiverse with this printer. I wrote a troubleshooting guide on this printer on Thingiverse. And I even got rewarded by XYZ Printing for, for my troubleshooting guide. They think I do so much uh, effort for, for the people having this printer that they rewarded me with uh, a great amount of filament as a thank you. So, I really do a lot for people having this printer on, on Thingiverse because there is a big community of people using this printer. And um, I saw that Joe was having problems with his jog mode. And I was having problems with the jog mode. And a lot of people on Thingiverse are having problems with their jog mode. And it's all because the home access is not set. Because if you don't set the home access first, then your jog mode won't work. Of course, there could also be some other problem. It could really be something uh, which ruins his printer. There, there, there could be a mistake in his printer. There could be something wrong. I don't know. It could be an, an, a damaged mainboard. I, I really don't know wh what actually is the cause of his problem. But I know a lot of people are having the same problem. And it's all because they don't know they have to home the access. And uh, you can't know if you don't have a manual, and wow, there is no manual on this printer. There is a CD supplied with it, and uh, on that CD there is some quick manual. But there is a lot not written which you should know about this printer before you can actually work with it. Then another problem I saw from the video of uh, Joe's, Joe's posting was that he was printing directly on the aluminum bed. Well, when I got my printer, there were some sticker papers applied with it. And you should place them on your aluminum print beds so that your print sticks to that sticker. And apparently, he didn't receive those stickers. Uh, and also, there was no manual telling him that you should then apply painter's tape or uh, build tech or PEI or something like that because you need something on this, uh, this this building plate to make your filament stick to it and that needs to be something different sometimes for PLA than for ABS I use build tech nowadays and then you can use it for PLA and ABS but uh, if you use tape then captain tape is great for ABS and uh, blue painter's tape, for example, is, is great for PLA. So, him not knowing that is all because there was no reference for him. There was no manual, there was no, no nothing. And this is why I'm so frustrated. I'm frustrated because I wanted to see his opinion on this printer. Because now there is no reference. I am the reference for myself. 
and I know that I'm in the market for a new printer. I know I'm in the market for a better printer, uh, which is going to cost me more money. I know that also. And uh, I want to see unbiased reviews of people, people like Joe Telling, because I, I really admire him because of his unbiasedness and, and his honest reviews. So I really would like to see his opinion on this printer just because I want to know what he thinks about this printer to compare it to other printers because I'm in the market. I want something better. I want something uh, maybe bigger, maybe faster, maybe uh, more open source so I can more tinker with it. And now it won't happen. Uh, maybe it happens later, but, but it's not happening at this moment. So I'm disappointed. Not because of him making this non-review, because, well, what could he have done? He could only have done this because this is the only right thing for him to do. But I'm extremely unhappy that he had this experience. Because now he is having this experience and I hope he will give this printer another try. And I hope that he then really is unbiased because, well, it takes something to be unbiased after such a bad experience. And uh, I'm sure he can work that out. He, he, he does, and he does on other printers as well. But I would have seen his review on this machine. And I'm very unhappy that it didn't work out. I support him on his Patreon, and you should all do, because really, he is a great guy. And go check him out. Also, go check out Angus from the Makers Muse, and also Chuck who really is the reason why I bought a XYZ printing machine. And uh, now I saw a comment of Chuck on the non-review of this machine. Welcome in the world of, I say it in my words, people unhappy about XYZ wear uh, or XYZ printing. So Chuck is not any... Uh, anymore for, for the people who want this kind of printers. And I, I really, I'm a bit disappointed about that. But I can, I can understand it from his side of view. But, but I'm disappointed about it. So, what do you think? I hope to receive a lot of comments on this video, because this time I really want to know your opinion. What do you think about this printer, about other printers, and about the, the, the problems which you can have with this printer because you, you don't know. Because I think the, I really think the printer is great. I think it's one of the best printers you can buy for the money. So at this price point, I really think it's a very, very good machine. And I, I don't know of any better machine, but maybe you know and maybe you can, uh, yeah, can write some comments down below. So what do you think about Joe posting a non-review, which I think is a great idea of him. I couldn't have done it better than him, I think. Um, and also, what do you think of, of this machine? Because I want other people their opinions on this printer, which I happen to love very much. But I'm in the market for a new machine, so maybe you can, can tell me what what other machines are compared to this one. Thanks a lot for watching. And a little bit less frustrated because I now told the whole world about it. Uh, I'm going to stop this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, well, I'll see it on the thumbs down. Um, also, Please subscribe to my channel because every Thursday I make a video about 3D printing on my channel. And also, uh, well, go visit those other three guys. Go visit the 3D printing nerd. Go visit Angus from the Maker Muse and go visit Chuck Hellebuck because those are the most influential and, and the most prettiest people to look at when you want to know everything about 3D printing. So. 
See you next Thursday. Thanks for watching.